So glad to have you here in our kitchen and it is fall so we're making some fall deliciousness do you know what we're making today we're making brownies <laughs> brownies yes that's right with pumpkin cheesecake mousse so i'm so excited i'm so excited ready to get started okay so brayden is helping us today what are we putting in you want to go ahead and start dumping stuff all right this one is flour we've got half a cup of flour dump it right in there There we go. And we have one cup of sugar. Can you dump that in? That's heavy. All right. What else have we got? We have one third cup of unsweetened cocoa powder. Perfect. A teaspoon of vanilla extract. <laughs> one half cup of melted butter. Yumminess. For this one, the bowl's a little bit warm still. Now you can do it in a saucepan over medium heat or I just put it on a microwave because sometimes easy is better. Especially when you have three eggs, right? Okay. Now we're going to do two eggs. Two. <laughs> two. Let's do one at a time. Can you help me do it? Okay. Ready? Help me open it? No. No? Okay. Right. One. Get out. Okay, you do that one. You gotta crack it open. There we go. There we go, yep. Yeah. Perfect. And about half a teaspoon of salt. All right, dump it right in there. Perfect. Okay, now we've got pretty much all of our ingredients. The oven is already preheating to 350 degrees, and we're just gonna mix it up. Stir, I'll stir it. Okay, you go for it. They're in the mini cupcake pan, and we'll see how that goes. It might need 20 minutes. Well, I can help. I can help. All right, now don't touch inside. Okay, ready? Ooh. So our brownie bites are in the oven cooking, and we're gonna make the pumpkin cheesecake mousse. Ready to help me to make that? Yeah. Here you go, mister. So we're gonna scoop this in works. one works. can. Go ahead and see if you can dump it. I might have to help scoop it out. Yes. Yeah. I'll, I'll scoop it. Let's scoop it out. We're gonna scoop out one can of pumpkin. Watch it. Oh. oh, ready? Like that. I'll do it, I'll do it. Now scoop it. <laughs> one box of cheesecake cookie mix. Not this one. one container of Cool Whip. And we're gonna do, we're gonna use this for a minute. And one teaspoon of pumpkin pie seasoning or spice. Ready? Take that in. 
I'm gonna be a little generous. All right, go ahead. <laughs> there you go. There we go. Get the whole thing out. Whole thing in there. That looks delicious, doesn't it? Yeah. Is this, uh, is this from here? Yep, this is from here. Ooh, there's still some in there. Get it all out and mix away. <laughs> Be careful, this one's a little messier. Do we have to get all of the vanilla away? Mm-hmm. All right, I think it's good. It's coming to a nice mousse consistency, and we're going to get it in a bag and get it ready to pipe on to the brownies when they're done. All right, our brownies are done, and they've cooled off a little bit, or our brownie bites, I should say. Our mousse is nice and fluffy, and I have piping tips. I just don't have a piping bag, so obviously you can always use a plastic baggie. Okay, you ready? We're gonna pipe some of this mousse frosting on our brownie bites. Good bite, tell me what you think. <laughs> is it good? <laughs> really, really good? How's the brownie? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright, I'll let you chew on that and I'll pipe a few more. But as you can see, we have extra mousse and we still have some more brownie bites that we can um, frost, but I think it also would be great as a topping for like gingerbread waffles, pancakes on the weekend, um, cupcakes, all kinds of things. So definitely refrigerate it and it will last probably up to a week, I would say. Um, otherwise, thanks for joining us for this episode of Kitchen Wise. You guys say bye. We'll see you next time. Say bye. Although I do have more. Ooh, push it out the back. <laughs> there we go. That's kind of nice stopping. <laughs> so we will have some extra moves for the top. Who said you?